think it looks great so nice and it doesn't emphasize any texture just keep note this is kind of what it looks like before any powder or anything like that it has been six hours now and this is what the face is looking like honestly hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome my name is christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences so before you go make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below recently this foundation from laura mercy has been getting a ton of hype it started to go viral again on TikTok. The one that I had seen was from Glamzilla. I'd previously done a review video on this when it first launched and overall I love it. I'm obsessed with the finish of it, the longevity and the coverage of it. And even more recently, Laura Mercier came out with matching concealers. They sent me three different shades here. I actually asked them if they would send this because I knew I wanted to do kind of like a demo review type of video on these concealers and surprisingly they said yes. So I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of the formulation as well as the coverage, the colors, the way that it wears with the foundation, and a little wear test towards the end. So if you guys are interested in any of that information, then let's get started. So you know, I do have oily combination skin. I do get very oily in my T-zone just overall as well, and I am also very acne prone. I have this little pamphlet that they sent with the concealers, so let's read about the specs. It comes in 22 shades. It's called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting concealer. It is a serum infused formula. It's supposed to look like second skin and undetectable on the skin. 16 hour wear covers imperfections and brightens the skin tone while hydrating the skin and reducing the appearance of fine lines, improving the look of bare skin in two weeks. Keep in mind that's probably a study done if wearing the foundation and concealer every day. It also says it's crease free and weightless, sweat, heat, humidity, and waterproof. It has a natural flawless finish and it does say that it improves skin over time i am always skeptical about makeup that claim to like improve the skin one you have to wear it probably every single day until you see results and two you never really know how much you're actually supposed to use in order to see those results so that's just my skepticism take it as you will this concealer retails for 33 dollars, and the foundation retails for 52 i almost want to say that it was cheaper when i first bought it at the beginning of 2023. I can't exactly remember though. I did look on Sephora's website though and the foundation looks like it's almost completely sold out in almost every shade which is actually insane. I'm really happy that this foundation is finally getting the hype it deserves because it's truly one of the best. So in the foundation I am 3N2 Camel and by the way guys if you're ever looking for my foundation matches I do put it in the description box down below. Just open that and scroll down and you should see all the foundations that I've tried out. And as far as the concealer go the three shades that they sent are 3w1 2w1 and 3n1 my suspicion is that 3n1 is probably going to be the best match because i am a neutral undertone but let's go ahead and get started and start swatching these so here is the skin bare faced i'm going to be using my tried and true cali ray so blown primer i already know that this foundation does really really well with this primer as well i'm gonna put some lip balm on this is the elf honeydew lip balm i really like this it's such a good dupe for the Laneige ones honestly. While I let that primer dry down I'm gonna go ahead and go in and fix my brows and because I want to see how this concealer performs in every aspect I'm going to be underpainting on one side of my face this left side your right side and then on this side I am going to use the foundation first and then use the concealer on top so let's go ahead and apply the foundation on my right side but your left side. Taking this makeup by Mario brush it's the dual ended like paw complexion brush and I'm just going to tap this in and buff it in. This foundation has almost a natural velvety finish to it. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful finish, especially if you do have more oily skin. It kind of starts off looking a little bit matte, but it's still very hydrating, and you can definitely feel the serum-y texture to it as well. If you kind of like blended this in with your fingertips, you could kind of feel the slipperiness of it. And I'm pretty sure the first time that I used this, I said something along the lines of like, this is a very unique unique formula. Like I hadn't tried a formula that felt exactly like this one. I still think that's true. I still feel like this feels velvety, satiny, but also serum-y. I'm not sure how they got that combination going, but still really big fan. Just going to take a tiny 
teeny tiny little dot more of this further even up the skin tone i'm not using this to try to cover up my acne scarring and freckles and stuff like that i'm just trying to make sure i have an even canvas here do you guys like my necklace i went on a girl's trip with my best friend this past weekend and i found it at a vintage shop that we went to and i just couldn't pass it up it was really cute i love this little paper clip design all right so now while we let that foundation dry on the right side right here i'm gonna go ahead and start underpainting on the left side and let's go ahead and swatch these shades right here okay so here are the three concealer shades this first one right here is 3n1 the middle is 3w1 and then this side is 2n1 i almost feel like 3w1 might be a better match for me i'm not entirely sure they seem very different from each other and they all follow each other on the shades that they have so it's not like there are any shades in between it's so different but again we do have to consider here that these two are neutral undertones while this one is a warm one i actually want to pull these swatches from my hand and use that to apply on the face so i'm going to use this makeup by mario f5 brush i'm going to start off with 3n1 right here and use this to cover up the majority of my acne scarring and my blemishes. So I'm just going to pack it in there. It does feel like it has the same consistency as the foundation, by the way. It still feels very satiny and it's quite liquidy. So definitely feel that serum finish to it. Did you see how nicely that covered that pimple? It was a very, very red pimple because it is still healing. And then right here where I get pretty red around my nose, I think 3N1 is actually really great for my natural skin tone. I do tend to go a little darker when it comes to my foundation, so I match my concealer to that. Because my body is darker than my face, I say that in every single foundation and concealer video, because I know it can be kind of jarring seeing me apply something like concealer and it like doesn't match my natural skin tone at all, you know? I'm putting a very small amount of this concealer on the face and I'm just kind of concentrating and packing it into my acne scarring. And it's doing a very good job, I would say, right now i'm looking at more of a medium coverage and now i'm going to take 3w1 on my forehead and cover up all of these active healing pimples right here on my hairline i have a good amount of them and it's definitely going to be a bit lighter because my forehead's pretty dark compared to the rest of my face but i think once we put the foundation on it's going to blend in really nicely i just used 3n1 under my eyes as well and it's actually a really really good match i think that looks so nice it's pretty undetectable like it says i don't see it emphasizing any of my texture it kind of like melted in it looks great i'll try to give you guys a little bit of a close-up here obviously since i'm underpainting i'm not completely blending everything out so it does look a little splotchy but just focusing right here on the under eyes i think it looks so nice and it doesn't emphasize any texture specifically my little like bump bees right here right on the inner corner of my eyes all right now that i've let this side set because this foundation is a little bit darker than my natural skin tone as you can see here it's a little bit warmer i think that i want to go in with 3w1 to start off with to cover up acne scars that you can see peeking through i think maybe i'll do a little bit under my eyes and then i'll further blend it in with 3n1 so let's go ahead and do the same thing take this on the back of the hand and i'm just going to use that same brush brush I did clean it off and I'm going to take this right here and start to dot it in and blend it oh yeah 3w1 works really well actually with that 3n2 foundation it is a little bit warmer so I think the neutral tone 3n1 could also work but I'm not mad at it I still think it looks like it's blending in really nicely kind of feel like I need a good amount more coverage so i'm actually going to go ahead and take this doe foot and dot it in those areas where i want that extra coverage and let it dry down for a couple of seconds before i blend it in just to make sure that we get the most out of this and because it is more of a serum -y concealer i think it's a little important to let it dry down so you get that pigmentation kind of sticking there before you blend it all away with a brush i've been very mindful about going in with a light hand to make sure that the pigmentation stays exactly where i want it and really just focusing on blending out the thickness of it mainly on the corners i hope that makes sense <laughs> i've been trying different techniques that i've been seeing to kind of get more of a flawless base and this one seems to be working for me really well 
Even though I took another layer of this, kind of like a thicker amount, and put it directly on the face, I don't feel like it looks cakey. I don't feel like it looks heavy. I think that that serum consistency of it really, really helps to keep that skin-like finish, and I really appreciate that. It looks very nice. And taking that same brush that I used to apply the foundation, I'm just going to tap it in to get rid of any sort of brush streaks. All right, here is this side done with foundation and concealer. I think it looks really nice. You can still definitely see some of my freckling right here, as well as a little bit of acne scarring on my cheek. I think it looks pretty good right now. I'm debating on if I wanna add any more, but since I'm not sure, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the foundation on this side that we underpainted with. So I'm gonna take my foundation, and probably even less than we did on this side, using that same brush here, I'm just going to load up my brush and then apply on the face right on top of that concealer. All right guys, so here's what the complexion is looking like with that foundation and concealer on either side. For me, just looking at it right off the bat, I almost feel like this side where we did the foundation first looks a little bit more glowy, a little bit more dewy because this concealer does have more of those hydrating properties. I don't know if it has more than the foundation does, but it definitely is giving the look of a little bit more hydration. Both sides still look skin-like, still look super hydrated, but I'm seeing a little bit more of a glossy tone on this side right here, whereas on this side where we underpainted, I am still seeing that hydration, that skin-like finish, but it does seem like it's slightly a little bit more mattified. So if you don't tend to powder, just keep note, this is kind of what it looks like before any powder or anything like that. I think both sides look really, really nice. Now let's kind of talk about the coverage on either side here. I think that the right side looks like it has a little bit more coverage which makes sense because we did kind of do a thicker layer of the concealer right there now i am kind of debating on if i should add a little bit of concealer on top of the foundation where we underpainted mainly on the top of my cheek right here where i have like a good cluster of freckles that's like the only section that i think i want to touch as well as my under eyes i just feel like i want to do a little bit more brightening so just to test it out maybe we can go in with two and one this is definitely going to be a lighter brighter shade for me i did use these other two shades under the eyes already to kind of like match it to the rest of the face and then i think adding a little bit of this brightening shade is going to just add that extra effect that i want under the eyes as far as the way that everything is sitting on the face i don't know i'm not noticing anything too different other than you know this side looks a little more hydrated. It doesn't seem like anything is more emphasized on either side based on the techniques that we used. Either way that you do it, I guess the only thing that really changes is the finish of it, as well as a little bit of like the coverage of it. I'm going to, again, put this on the back of my hand. And I'm actually gonna take this eyeshadow blending brush. This is a BK Beauty 202 brush. And I'm gonna load this brush up with that concealer. And then I'm gonna go in and just sweep it under the eyes. I find that this deposits a very small amount of concealer to where you can build it up and control it a lot better. So it doesn't turn into like a creasy, cakey mess. I think that this is important, especially if you do have more mature skin and you're kind of seeing some under eye wrinkles or fine lines and stuff and you want to make sure that your concealer doesn't like seep into those areas i think that this is a really good method i've been testing it out recently with like all of my concealers and i like it so far it definitely takes a lot more time i will admit it's definitely tedious but so far i i want to say it's it's worth it because my under eyes have been looking so much better when it comes to texture. I think that this is a perfect shade for my under eyes. Adds a little bit of brightness, but it still blends really great with the rest of my face. Now it does look like as I'm sitting here blending, that concealer is kind of seeping into these deeper set lines that I have under my eyes. Not an issue, I'm sure that once I powder it down, it's not going to look like that, but just keep that in mind. Again, if you're not like a powder down type of person, but I will say any texture that I have is not being emphasized other than those fine lines. And I did take a little bit of that concealer and tap it along 
my freckles right here and I think it's okay I mean I could definitely use a little bit more coverage but I don't really want to mess with it too much so I'm just gonna leave it I can live with it you know all right and there you go that is the entire face with the foundation and concealer again I am seeing a little bit of seepage right in here but I do plan to bake my face I am going to be baking with my Oma Trip and Smooth powder that's my go-to and then I'm gonna top it off with my Huda Beauty powder because that combination kind of gives me the flawless airbrush look as well as that mattifying look I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer my blush and then we'll come back to powder the face all right so I just did my bronzer and my blush now I'm taking this BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose brush it's number n14 and I'm taking my Oma trip and smooth powder this is just the translucent shade and I'm loading this onto my brush and I'm going to use this as my first like layer of my powder this just completely airbrushes and smooths out the face completely mattifies it and then taking the Huda Beauty peach pie powder I just have a mini of this because I've been like testing it out I'm just gonna take this and bake the under eyes because I think it adds some brightness and some smoothness so I'm just loading it up here and I'm gonna bake taking this Kaleidos B1 blush brush and I'm just going to wipe that bake away and kind of buff the excess powder into the rest of the face I don't want to use too much more powder all over so I'm just gonna tap on top okay so there is the complexion done I don't think I'm gonna touch anything else if anything maybe I'll just like touch up my bronzer and blush but I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll be right back to share with you guys all of my thoughts okay we are back the face is fully done we have our foundation concealer blush bronzer powder I did use the milk setting spray today instead of my one size setting spray because I did want to bring back a little bit of that hydration that we had going on with the foundation and concealer because once we powdered we did get pretty matte but I wanted a little bit of doing this back into the skin so it did look a little bit more skin like and I think I was able to achieve that with that setting spray I think everything looks great if I do look at it really closely I want to say that my bronzer and my blush kind of removed a little bit of the coverage that we had going on here on the cheeks that the concealer gave to us like I see a little bit of my acne scarring right here and then a little bit of my freckling and acne scarring on the tops of my cheeks and again this is the side that we did the foundation first and then the concealer and then this side we did do a little bit of underpainting with that concealer I kind of feel like the coverage that we had before doing bronzer and blush stay the same so I think we had a little bit more movement with the concealer here could be because again of the hydration content that is in the concealer I feel like here where we underpainted we gave it enough time to set down and then we topped it with that foundation so it kind of like sandwiched itself in there before the bronzer and blush touched it and if you guys are curious I did use these Westman Atelier bronzer and blush the blush is in the shade petal and then the bronzer is in the shade truffle I just picked these up by the way overall I think that it is a solid face of makeup I feel like the concealer is almost identical to the foundation except for the fact that it does look look a little bit more hydrating on this skin it still gives you that velvety satin skin like finish to it still looks really smooth on this skin I want to say that it has a touch more pigmentation which seems to be the case whenever it comes to concealers versus foundations and I also think that the undertones of these are surprisingly really nice I was a little bit nervous about it at first I didn't think that it was going to really match my skin but actually the neutral tones match my face very very well and then the warm tone matched the foundation very very well what do you guys think do you like this which side looks better to you let me know in the comments down below if you see a difference or if you prefer one way or the other I can't tell you if it's going to be long wearing just yet I will update you guys in the description box down below by the end of the day and as I wear this throughout more days even if you don't set your under eyes if you do have fine lines or wrinkles you may want to set it down with a powder because I did notice very quickly that the concealer was kind of seeping into those fine lines even while I was blending them out so I definitely think it's going to be a necessity to just powder wherever you have those fine lines now I know some people might be like oh but where I have fine lines and if I powder it does get accentuated I think it comes down to finding a powder that works for you maybe using a very fluffy brush and very very small amounts of powder something like the Oma Beauty Trip and Smooth powder very very finely milled I find that doesn't emphasize any texture you can kind of see right here it almost looks like that concealer wants to go in to that fine line right there I have a feeling it might 
throughout the next couple of hours okay so those were all of my first thoughts i will do one check-in tonight what time is it already almost 6 p.m i did get to filming pretty late today so by the end of the night after a couple hours i will update you guys on what i'm thinking and again as i wear this throughout more days i will be updating in the description box down below but if you want to see more of a like wear test demo type of thing i will be posting a little video on instagram as well as tiktok so follow me on the those platforms as well if you want some more information on this. Hey everyone, I am back. It has been six hours now. It's right around midnight and this is what the face is looking like. Honestly, just glancing in the mirror, everything is holding up flawlessly. I'm super impressed by this. Let me show you guys a little bit of what is going on here. So as you can see, I definitely did produce some oils, not a ton, but you can see the oils are starting to progress in my T-zone and a little bit around my nose, which is like my main oily areas usually. I definitely think that setting the face with tons of powder as well as the setting spray really helped everything hold up. I'm not seeing a lot of movement on the concealer. I was actually really surprised to see that under the eyes where I predicted that it was going to kind of like break apart and sink into like those deeper creases. It really hasn't. It looks like it has very slightly on my right eye kind of seeped in to that deeper crease but honestly it's barely noticeable. I didn't think anything moved until I I took a mirror and I really looked at it like super closely in the mirror. All the concealer on the rest of my face that I use to spot conceal, cover all of those acne scarring and my freckles and stuff. Honestly, I feel like the coverage is literally the same as it was when we first applied it. I'm super impressed by this. If anything, I have this healing pimple on my forehead and you can kind of see that the outline of it is a little bit dry, a little bit crusty. And I think the concealer sort of emphasized that but I didn't notice it before just now. Nothing is looking dry, nothing is looking cakey. I don't see much separation if anything. This honestly looks like some foundations and concealers that I've worn for maybe two hours. Like it's comparable to those, you know? I already knew, like I keep mentioning, I love this foundation. And the fact that they have a concealer that is slightly more pigmented, slightly more hydrating, I think is really nice because it sort of counteracts how naturally matte the finish is of the foundation. I know that some people had mentioned that it was a little bit too matte for their liking and I think pairing it with a concealer that has the same sort of finish but a little bit more hydrating is really nice. It'll kind of just like balance out. It doesn't feel like six hours have passed by, right? I, I don't know. I tend to get very oily. Now it could be the fact that I haven't left my house at all since I put this face of makeup on and it's been a pretty chill day. I filmed another video after this one. Then I ate dinner, watched a movie with my husband and then I came upstairs and I edited that video and you know, it's been a pretty chill day. I'm sure that if I were out and about and I was out like in the humidity or I was out in the cold, we would definitely see a little bit more movement going on here. Now I will say that I did put like a thicker jacket on to take the dogs out maybe an hour ago and I noticed that my face like on the bottom half was kind of rubbing on my jacket. I was trying to avoid it but I definitely did kind of hit the jacket a couple times and I'm not seeing any sort of shifting or smudging here. And I did put the concealer here and on my chin as well. I did notice like right here, I think I lost a little bit of coverage. Oh, is that a new pimple? It might be a new pimple, but I think I lost a little bit of coverage right there, but overall, it's looking really nice. I have no complaints, you guys. If anything, I am like so happy with this face of makeup. Now to kind of talk about, again, the different sides, the way that we did it. This side is the underpainting, this side foundation and then concealer. I'm seeing a little bit more oil right here on the top of my cheek versus on this side where I underpainted. I again have the same theory where the hydration of the concealer was kind of mattified by the foundation that went on top of it. So in turn, I think that this side may have a little bit more lasting power when it comes to keeping those oils at bay. So if you are oilier, maybe consider underpainting if you're concerned about how hydrating the concealer may be. Definitely not as hydrating as hydrating concealers can be, you know? So the ones that come to mind for me that I really love. Kofi 
concealer is very hydrating definitely leaves you with a little bit more dew on the face the kosas one a lot more hydrating than this one i feel like this is a really good in between i feel like this is a very universal concealer whether you are dry whether you're normal or oily i feel like it's right there where it's not too much it's kind of like giving me goldilocks of concealers you know i think it's a great companion to go with the foundation it gives you a little touch more pigmentation a little bit more hydration hydration than the foundation so it kind of like balances itself out i like the shades that i have i think they're all very usable in their own right it is 33 dollars so you know it's pretty expensive i'm excited to continue to wear it to kind of see how it does whenever i go out whenever i have an even longer day maybe even for the 16 hours just to like play around and see what happens and again when i do do all those things i will update in the description box down below so make sure you revisit this video so you can see any updates as well as follow me on instagram and tiktok because i will be creating more content around these concealers Alrighty, guys that's everything for this video let me know in the comments down below if you have any additional Additional questions for me or if you have anything to say about how this concealer performed I'd love to know your thoughts on it if you like this video if you found it helpful please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video bye